okay guys so this is the last part of this video series uh, this app will be completed if you follow this video properly the last part we will be showing you how to navigate from our product listing page to product detail page so this was a listing page we created in the part 2 video so part 1 and part 2 are using are creating this uh, ui so meanwhile let me open my android studio outputs okay so in the products listing page we will go here and we will go to we want to click on this stadia and navigate to a second uh, screen which is called details screen so let's go to left image product item widget now here search for um, actually this whole container uh, will go inside gesture detector and we will write on tap then we will give a give something to it so navigator dot push uh, we will use right now i am going to use material page route i will show you we will replace this with something very interesting and nice so we are going to use builder and then this will take a context which will return a widget which will be our product detail page and this will have a product detail page which will have product as the input right i am only adding gesture detector to this because i don't want to confuse you with adding here and here and and stretch stretch the video so just adding here you can add it anywhere and it will, it will work fine so after adding on tap here we can run the app okay <clears throat> and see that when i click on this we are able to uh, move to details page right but this back button is not working so let's go to product detail um, top bar and go to your icon arrow back wrap this with gesture detector right and uh, do navigator dot pop that's it let's close this and now let's run it so now if i do here back button it has gone inside it has gone back so i'm going in and then coming out like this okay if it is working fine let me just open my android studio uh, android sdk emulator and uh, let me run it here it will take some time to run okay till then we will add a hero widget hero tag hero widget okay so i want this image to animate and link it with the details page image right so here we have in the left item left product item image we have this image dot asset so just wrap it in a hero widget and give it a tag tag will be product name because that will be unique in our case so this product dot name will try to match itself with the product detail page product image right so go to product detail content widget and this is where is my image okay, come up and this is my image path so go here and do the same thing for this as well hero then tag and then product dot name right and we did same thing here so now if i run it uh, let, it is something something so it is using uh, material now I think it's running so let me just do it hot reload it's syncing files and let me bring it here so that we can see it properly okay it's loaded and this is how it is coming see the animation yeah so this is how it looks but you can see when I press this back button it the page itself goes down so this is material page route so what we are going to use is uh, not the material page route we are going to use fade page route which i created 
and inside this widget you need to just pass product detail page i will tell you what this does how it does so we will pass in the product and now if you see the output let's hot reload again so if i click on this now see the animation now it's much more slicker it's much more uh, intuitive the page is fading out and next page is getting fading in so now this time this page does not go down it just goes away like this okay so you go to fade fade page out which i already created you can find it in the lib folder directly on top of main.dart so what it does is it, it, it just customizes your page out okay by giving some animation and secondary animation so you use fade transition you can use multiple transition you can use scale transitions as well but right now we need fade so use tween begin will be zero and end will be one and this is the animation which will be passed in so this is basic thing you can just copy paste and use in all your projects so this is how it is working uh, now let me show you in uh, for the last time let me show you in the iphone as well so if i click on this it works like this right for iPhone simulator, the animations look very much uh, laggy uh, as, because I'm running on machine, but for Android, it looks very much uh, good. So that's why I wanted to show you the animations in emulator, Android emulator. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is the end of the video, guys. So uh, if you like the whole series, uh, let me know in the comment section and also uh, provide feedback. Whether did you like this type of uh, uh, completing an app? So I will definitely recommend you or uh, request you to go through my website and uh, also look out for the follow along project which I showcased you in the end of in the starting of this video wherein uh, you will have a sorry no net you will have a, a this follow along repository and you can clone it fork it and follow this video and the tutorial and just um, add it to your app and you will be able to get everything which we you have seen here okay so thank you guys and yeah